In this lecture, we are going to download and install Postman, which we are going to use for testing our APIs, which we are going to create in our future lectures. Now, Postman is a powerful API development environment that helps you build, test, and document APIs. It is a popular tool among developers and testers for various reasons. Using Postman, you can test different types of HTTP requests like GET, POST, PUT and DELETE with different parameters, headers and bodies. Then you can also validate the responses against the expected values, schemas or examples. And you can also organize your requests into collections for easier management and execution. Now, in order to download Postman, let's go to postman.com. So here I'm on postman.com website. And from here, we are going to download Postman for our local development machine. And in order to download Postman, all you have to do is go to product. And from there, you can see this link, download Postman. Just click on that link and it will take you to the download page. From here, you can download Postman for your operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows operating system 64 bit. So the operating system is automatically selected here. In your case, if you're using any other operating system like Mac OS or Linux, that will be automatically selected here. So in order to download Postman, all you have to do is you have to just click on this button to download the installer for Postman. Once the installer is downloaded, double click on that installer and follow the installation steps. Installation steps are very easy, so I'm not going to show you here. But if you face any issues in installing Postman, there are a lot of articles and videos available online, which you can refer to to take help in installing Postman on your machine. Here, I'm not going to download and install Postman on my local machine because I have already downloaded and installed Postman on this PC. So once you have downloaded and installed Postman, when you will open Postman application, it will look something like this. So here I am in the home page of this application. Okay. So if you have not worked with Postman earlier, then don't worry. I'm going to explain some of the important things related to Postman. But for now, let's keep things simple. So using Postman, what we are going to do is we are going to test the APIs, which we are going to create in our future lectures of this course. And to test the REST APIs, what we are going to do is we are going to create a new workspace. Okay. And here we want to do API testing. Let's click on next. Let's give a name here and let's call it NestJS API. Okay. And let's click on this create button. And this has created a new workspace, which we are calling it as NestJS APIs. All right. Now, in order to test an API, you can click on this plus button here. And then here you need to enter the URL of the API, the endpoint of the API, which you want to test. And from here, you can select the type of request which you want to make. Now, currently in our application, if I go to app module.ts, we have this app controller. So this app controller is the main controller of our NestJS application. And if I go to appcontroller.ts file, there we have created one endpoint. We have this get hello method, and this get hello method will be called whenever we make a get request to the root URL. You see, to this get method, we are not specifying any path. So that means this get method will be called whenever we make a get request to the root URL. And for our application, the root URL will be localhost and port number 3000 because our application is running on port number 3000. So I'll copy this root URL. Let's go to Postman. Let's specify that root URL here. And currently we only have one endpoint for handling the get request on the root URL. So if I go back to Postman and if I make a request now and we can make a request by clicking on the send button. So when I click on the send button, a get request will be sent to this root URL. So if I click on this send button, you will see that a request will be sent to this URL. And in the response, we have received this message. Hello from NestJS app. So this is the same response we are sending when we are calling this get hello endpoint. So from the app service get hello method, we are sending that message in the response, that text in the response. 
so if i change this text let's say hello from nest.js let's save the changes here so when we save the changes our application will be auto compiled and it will auto run and now we can go back to postman and we can again make the request to this root url and we are making a get request if i click on the send button now we should see that message hello from nest.js okay so currently in our application we are only handling the get request on the root url so if i try to make a post request here we don't have any endpoint here which is handling a post request so this get hello method on the root url will be called whenever we make a get request if we make a post request this method will not be called let me actually show you that so if i make a post request now to the root url and if i click on the send button you see we have an error and it says not found because we have not created any endpoint for handling the post request on the root url but if i go back and let me create this method one more time and let me call it as post hello and here i'm going to use post method okay and in order to use this post method we also need to import it from nest.js slash common all right so now if i save the changes and from here i'll return a string value instead of calling the get hello method from app service i'll return a string value and let's say post request successful let's save the changes now let's go back to postman and now if i make a post request you see we are seeing this message post request successful so now in our application we are also handling post request on the root url so in this way using the postman we can test our apis which we are going to create in our coming lectures and this postman it is a very useful tool for testing and developing apis this tool is useful for anyone involved in api development api testing or api documentation and it offers a comprehensive set of features to enhance productivity and ensure api quality and we are going to use postman throughout this course for testing and documenting our apis okay all right so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have not installed postman yet then i'll highly recommend you to install it first on your machine because we are going to use it for testing our apis this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.